Welcome gamers. Today we're going to compare DLSS 3 with DLSS 4 in five modern games that are on NVIDIA's DLSS 4 support list. So let's get at it. Welcome to UberClock. So I took benchmark runs of five modern games that's supposed to take advantage of DLSS 3 and 4. Uh, the games I chose are Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, Black Myth Wukong, Throne in Liberty, Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl, and Robocop Rogue City. I uh, chose these games because their graphic engines are modern and they have fairly nice graphics compared to most games out. They also will tax the system pretty heavily if you got it set to 4K or higher resolution with all the graphic settings to max and path tracing or ray tracing fully enabled. The idea here is to see what the difference is between DLSS 3 and 4 in a modern game and not just look at some of the older games that see a big jump. I want to see what new games do when the system really struggles to render them anyway. All the games were set to 4K and all their graphic settings were set to Max or Ultra and DLSS was enabled on quality setting Frame generation was enabled. Ray tracing or path tracing are, are maxed out in the settings that it allow. No settings were changed between each run. That way we're comparing 3 with 4 with nothing else changing. Between each run I also restarted my computer so that each game starts fresh. So let's check out the side by sides. Uh, pay attention to image quality differences and also the frame rate and the 1% lows to see what the performance differences are and how it performs graphically. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that helps the channel out and we can keep growing and making content like this. You're very much appreciated.
So for the most part, um, we are seeing a slight uh, drop in frame rate on the newer generation DLSS 4. Uh, you'll also notice that the graphics are slightly better. NVIDIA did state that this was the case. Uh, they didn't mention anything about it being slightly slower, but it all makes sense if you really think about it. You're not going to be able to render something in a better fashion without some kind of a sacrifice there. So it's a give and take with that. I'll take the better graphics, but you know that might not be the case in a few more game generations when <laughs> this card performs worse and we need the performance. Um, some things that I noticed in Indiana Jones was there was a slight jump in frame rate with that game and I didn't notice any graphical changes. So there was some kind of weird improvement in performance. Uh, this could simply be the game itself. I have witnessed issues with it playing it where between different loads and me closing it out and reloading the game it did perform a little different with the exact same settings. The game overall has been really buggy. It's been buggy on everything that I've played it on, including my laptop, which is a completely different platform. And with that said, you just kind of have to look at that game and say, yeah, they, that might not be DLSS related in the changes there. So, again, we're seeing a slight drop in performance, but a little bit better graphics. Um, we're not seeing any jumps in frame rate. Uh, the big deal with that, as far as the new generation cards, the 5000 series, uh, NVIDIA cards is that they're using multi-frame generation and NVIDIA has not unlocked that feature for any of the earlier generations. Um, I have hope that later they may and I'd like to see it in, in action to see if it produces artifacting or some weird delays and uh, latency issues that it probably does. Um, but, you know, who knows? They may unlock that later, just like they did the DLSS. They just recently opened that up for the 2000 and 3000 series cards. And who knows? Maybe they'll unlock the uh, multi frame generation for the 4000 or maybe earlier uh, for some of the other cards. I know that that might not happen. They're saying that it's AI related and that the AI cores on the newer GPUs are a requirement. Maybe. D NVIDIA did say that. They expected the graphics to improve slightly with DLSS 4. They've been working on being more competitive with AMD's FSR. Uh, I've noticed in some games that I'm allowed to use both in that they've implemented both. Uh, I actually would prefer FSR. It looks better and runs smoother, if not the exact same as far as performance goes, then why not look better? Um, NVIDIA has improved the graphics. You can see it in the bulk of the games here. Uh, there is a slight improvement, but it is at a cost, a very slight one. So I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Um, please tell us what you think. Tell us about your experiences with the LSS4 and uh, give us any pointers that we might not be talking about here. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching this video. And we really appreciate you. And have a blessed day.